Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Corn here, and I have a project shared today. And instead of doing it up in the craft room, um, because I show you all, you know, the punches I used and the dies I used and the paper I used, it takes a really long time. So I thought that I would do it this way once again. I used to do it this way. And then if you have any questions about where I got something, if I can remember, then I will definitely let you know. If you just ask in the comments below, I'll try. And so this, um, first off, this is for Dolly, who is Crafty Mermaid Mom here on YouTube. And we've decided, um, I, I wrote her an email and asked if she would like to just do cards from now on also. And she, bless her heart, she said, sure. So this will be my last um, larger thing to send her, but we're going to be making cards for one another whenever we want to, you know. It um, doesn't have to be a special occasion just thinking of you or whenever we want to. But I went um, backwards is what I say um, because uh, something that most of you all who have been with me a long time know that for me um, to be on YouTube when I first um, started looking at YouTube, it was all about stuff to improve housing um, houses, you know, older homes, and my thing was I'd look up a lot of painting, um, then when um, chalk paint came out, then I did a lot of watch YouTube for that, and while I was doing all of that, you know how they have on the side here while you're watching a video, if you don't have a full screen, they'll give you suggestions of what you might, a video you might enjoy. And they suggested that I try, which I thought was so interesting, to see uh, someone's project share. This was so many years ago. I apologize. I forget who it, whose it was. But they said, you might want to see this pocket letter. And I was very curious because I thought, what on earth is a pocket letter? So... Um, this is what I've put mine in. I've gone back to doing, and those are what I did um, when, it, when I first started doing paper crafting. It was pocket letters. I was addicted. I mean, I just loved them. I loved doing them. I loved receiving them. They were my thing. And, you know, as time goes by, I tried other things as well, but I still just really love doing pocket letters. So this paper here that I've done to, to place it in to make my type of envelope, um, this paper is, I do know, is by Tim Holtz, and it's the ones he did with, I think they called it, he called them core paper, craft core, because it is the craft paper on back, and when you tear it, the core is craft. So um, I like, I really like that, and Dolly and I both like Tim Holtz a lot, and so I thought, and I, again, blue, her favorite color is blue, that's why I'm in blue, that's why I have a vintage book, this might even be an antique one, this is Handsome's book, um, on the table, because it's blue, I went hunting, because remember, I don't have tons of blue in the house, so I went hunting for some blue. And Dolly loves vintage also, as you all know, and anything pertaining to the ocean. So when you open this up, oh, also, I just need to let you know that this uh, ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby, um, this is one and a half inch by three yards. This will be what I will tie around here to hold it, the anchors, and then Here's the pocket letter, place it over there. Um, first off, um, if those, like I said, those of you who know my pocket letters know that I do my ribbon tassels like this. Sometimes I tie them with um, lace, 
but this time I tied it with this cord, which I think, but cannot promise because I took it out of the packaging. I think that's Tim Holtz cord wrapped around there and then put a charm that I do know I got at Joanne Fabrics and then just quite a few ribbons that if she decides she wants to take this apart and use elsewhere they'll be available for. This paper is actually um, by Authentique and I absolutely adore Authentique and so does Dolly. And then Jolie's Boutique did the, this is a metal sticker, which I absolutely adore. Looks like galvanized, it's galvanized, but I use both of those. That same cord at the top of the anchors. Um, fussy cut out this butterfly, and this butterfly, and this butterfly. As you see, we're at the beach and um, this, these all come from the Authentique um, pad. And then these two, um, remember when I told you all how fun it is to use from Hobby Lobby when they put on clearance their, um, I think it's, I think they call them place setters where you would normally put someone's name here. I just cut them down. I've done this before and used them here and here. And then I have a punch for the inside of that and then fussy cut the butterflies out. And as you all know, just glue them at their bodies so that you can push their wings up because even though they're in here, you can still see that their wings are up a bit. And then I got a hold of my stickles and several different colors of blue and put in the veins of the um, leaves in a darker cobalt blue, and then more of a turquoise blue, this flower and these flowers here, the same with the cobalt, and just had fun. I don't know if you can tell because of this lighting, but that's how the pocket letter turned out. I like to call it for the love of the sea or the love of the ocean. And then, let's put that here. And because Dolly and I, I think it's been about a year since we had said, whatever we do something for one another, it will be all handmade. That we won't, you know, get um, like crafting items and stuff for one another because, you know, each of us have quite a bit of that now. So we decided to give each other something that we made, although each of us does usually give each other one little store-bought thingy. But so the first thing I made for Dolly is a bookmark because she loves to read too. And this one, <laughs> I kind of went wild. I just kept going and going. Um, normally I think simplistic is lovely but I I was just getting into it this was late in the evening and I was having a lot of fun and this is a cotton fat quarter that I think I got at Tuesday morning some time ago and I just cut it and then frayed the edges and then this washi here and here reminded me of the ocean and the deep ocean where it's dark and places and stuff, and that's why I placed that there. And then on the ocean bed, you know, floor, the um, darling, there's the turtle and shells, and then these darling little um, fish that I got this from Hobby Lobby, um, the last clearance sale they had. I don't know why I decided, I wish that I had not put the green in. I know why I did, but I wish if I had to do over again, I wouldn't do the green. I'd take that out um, because I got it because I wanted to, you know, coordinate with her. And I do know that the ocean blue, blue greens, it's just, you know, such gorgeous colors. And then um, this sticker, I think is Momenta, I think. 
I'm not sure. And then I just took my stickles again and had fun with the little ocean waves and current and stuff. And then here, I just cut that out because I wanted the waves to be above her and have her little hair coming out of the water so that when the sailors see the hair, they think, oh my, it could be a mermaid. <laughs> so that's what I did with this. And I put it in here because it's so, you know, I want to protect the ribbon and it's so bong that um, I could only use this bag and then I'll just put a sticker on the back and then the back of this is the blue and white stripes and then I also did some of the tiny little uh, envelopes and then inside is just a tiny little piece of white stationery it's cardstock and then those teeny tiny I don't know if you can see them <laughs> the teeny tiny stickers that I got from Michaels um, there's a little hermit crab and then two mermaids and then two more mermaids and I had one more I made one more but a very handsome man saw it it's had a little crab come in and look like he was waving hello saw it and said oh I need that one so <laughs> he has it on his desk so it is cute. It does look like the crab saying, hey. But this little hermit crab makes me giggle when I see it. So, and then just puts uh, for Crafty Mermaid Mom and some anchors. And then this is, uh, don't know where I got that die, but just fold it over. And then um, Paper House, I'm pretty sure, had some stickers that I got at Tuesday morning years and years ago like a year and a half ago that had the ahoy and then I made her this these little pieces of ephemera that if she would like to use them in her crafting um, the this piece here is the paper studio remember when they put out the pieces of paper that had adhesive on the back that's one of them in the mermaid scales. Then this little fishy is Bo Bunny. That's from over a year ago also. And then this die, the oval die came from Amazon. And then I just put the, um, the glittered paper in different colors to, and then either pearls or bling on these. More ephemera. <laughs> I kept thinking what I would put in the bag, and you know, if you know the pocket letters I used to do, I'd do like um, ribbons and um, gems and um, washi samples and all of that, so but I had to make things, so I also did these in case you would like to, and I think you all like to use them in case you all might remember. These stickers are ultra puffy that I got at my last, or time before last, my haul at Hobby Lobby. And uh, this one, this die here, and this is a die, and then a nesting die I used here. Um, the ocean is calling, seas the day, seas, S-E-A-S. <laughs> and then mermaid at heart. And then I also did some more. <laughs> I did, um, I put, let me show y'all. This is just a super, super cute little paper clip that is a seahorse that I got at Hobby Lobby. And then this is from Bo Bunny too. And I just folded it over so if she would like to use it, she can let the sea set you free. And that's Bo Bunny. And it has the little, one of the little fish images back here that um, is this one. And then 
I did these and again the ovals like I said that die is from Amazon and this die Hanson picked up for me at Tuesday morning oh boy that was a long time ago I guess about a, a year ago I'd say catch my drift and then I also this washi tape up here with the birds offline that is from Walmart believe it or not I found that when they first put the school supplies out and then what I've done is put the stickers on white cardstock fussy cut them out and then put them on um, thin foam tape so that they would all um, have dimension and then I also did these <laughs> And these, um, K and Co. Um, did these gorgeous vintage looking ocean stickers and they're dimensional to begin with. There's foam behind them to begin with. And then I just made the strips of paper and took my crocodile out, did the, uh, rounded the corners, did my, um, large uh, scalloped circle punch on those and then this I don't know if you can see it or not but this paper is mermaid scales there also and this has lobsters and crabs and so I also did those for her and then I have this the one like I said the thing that um I found this and it just to me looked like Dolly so much that there's just a little something in the burlap bag which I think is adorable and looks great with all the seafaring items and this I got at Hobby Lobby some time ago um, these you all might remember Tuesday morning I guess that was over a year ago also had these um, by Anna Griffin and she has her own little goodie to put here and then clip down these bags but I did uh, took a sticker put all hands on deck and just did the white cardstock on the back cut it out I did use their gold um, clothespin to close it and then this sticker also um, just directly on the punch and then you open this up and inside of here I have um, three little cards that she can either use as cards or I made the envelopes and then or remember what I do and did with my you know how she does many many journals and took my crocodile on the edges and stuff. And these darling um, anchor bling is from Hobby Lobby. And do you know how you can either put it this way and, and just glue the glue all of this down, and then somebody could journal on here and put it back if she wants to use it that way, or you can send. A card um, you know you could send it with something you've you know made because remember these aren't always a lot of fun to um, mail this size or you can just close it and I do have these uh, stickers that look like anchors um, that in wax but they're not and you could close it and then Put this on it which matches the anchor paper or you could just seriously just put the sticker there if you wanted to put this in a journal for uh, a pocket so there's three of these stickers in there in the navy blue where it looks like wax but it isn't um, to go with each one of these I have them in there and then so these guys I did for her the other two are in there 
and then I also um, this bag comes from I think Hobby Lobby and then I know that this clip does the mermaid clip and then this is from Bo Bunny this piece with the mermaids <laughs> isn't that cute and then there's another one of those anchor stickers and then I just put the cording around it around there and then glued it here and here and just let the ends go where they may and this sticker says love anchors the soul and then inside of here are her tags that I made for her and Again, it's the authentic paper, and um, most of the ribbon comes from Hobby Lobby. Actually, I think all of this ribbon comes from Hobby Lobby. But this is Embrace the Day, where it looks like a trunk. And then this paper behind it, I don't know if you can see it or not, it's, it's got a shine to it. And I got that on clearance at Hobby Lobby, and I just think that paper is gorgeous. I really like that. And then this grow grain ribbon has whales on it. And then this one has the little boy building a sand castle. And I have uh, a corner punch from the paper studio that I did with that. This one I left just square because I thought that with the little boy and then the anchor and there's his boat he set anchor there. <laughs> and then here's the um, fisherman helping this lovely lady ashore. So I made those for her too. And then the card that goes with everything. I went cutesy cutesy on the envelope because I had it. And <laughs> I thought the mermaid was darling. And then I'm pretty sure I got this at Michael's, I think, but I can't swear. And so I went cutesy with the envelope, but the card matches this paper. And did, oh, I forgot to tell you all, with on the pocket letter and on this, when you see the darker brown ink, around there uh, and on some of the pockets. That is the new ink I got at the last um, time the, that Hobby Lobby marked down their inks. It was, um, I think it's Delicata, something like that. And it's in dark brown and I really like using that. I love the color and it, it went on so nicely. And then of course the back is, there's that same ink around there. And then I put a strip of, this is Heidi Swap, I think. Heidi Swap, is that her name? <laughs> I think, I apologize if I'm wrong. This is her glittered uh, washi that I got at Michael's over a year ago. And so, and then that's the card that goes with it. And that's what I've been working on. And I'd like to thank you all so much for joining me today. And I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening. Bye-bye, everybody.